Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, episode 205. Tonight we're reviewing Little Italy. <laughs> I feel like that accent was actually was better, better. It was than good. It was pretty good. Most of the people in this movie. We'll get oh into it. Yes, we will. But first things first, we want to thank Samuel Carey for our fabulous new intro. Yes, we, it's a little belated, but thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. It's Everyone amazing. loved it so much, they were like, of course we'll keep it. Shout out to him in our description. Everyone go like, follow, and give him work. Second thing second, shout out to our wine sponsor, <laughs> Wink. Try wink.com slash movie bitches. You get $22 off your first month of the wine. Of the vino. Of the vino. <laughs> So we actually didn't really know anything about this movie except for having seen the poster where we said, oh my god, what happened to Hayden Christensen? What happened to Hayden Christensen and also, is this a real movie? Is this, it turns out, no it's not. I this, mean, it's a TV movie. It's a TV, this is a Hallmark movie that somehow got a theatrical release. I think they thought, oh, maybe it'll be the next big fat Greek wedding. I mean, that's what they were shooting for. Yeah. My, I mean, hey, you know what? It worked because my mom was like, oh, should I not go see it? I thought it was going to be good. I was like, don't. <laughs> don't do Just it. taking money out of their pockets. Hey, this that's their own fault. This movie's not good. <laughs> that is their own fault. We didn't know anything about it. And I, the day before we saw it, uh, I said, oh, I've only seen the poster. I was like, but I'm going to like conservatively just guess, just like, just based on the poster, right? Okay, so it's like a Romeo and Juliet style, my pizza place, my family pizza place, rival, rival, oh, we fell in love, oh, let's break down the wall and have one big pizza restaurant. I called the whole plot, it was great. <laughs> it was really just, just from the poster. From the poster, it's, it's pretty good. skill. You and Nikki, you like Romeo and Juliet, huh? So, I mean, there you have it. <laughs> Spoiler alert, we're gonna spoil the whole movie. Spoiler, spoiler alert. It doesn't matter. Don't go see it. I mean, you could watch it for free. Oh yeah, I would absolutely watch it for free with maybe two bottles of wine and a lot of pizza. Because oh, I will say this, shit. there's some good pizza porn in this movie. Oh, I mean, I, we left the theater and I said, I need some goddamn pizza right, right now! now. <laughs> Let's go get pizza immediately. And we, then did. we did. This movie's wildly dated. Wildly dated, dated a little, no, uh, fairly offensive. Equal yes. opportunity offender. Offensive across the board. Yep. In that way that's like, because it's so just mixed in with everything else, it's almost more sinister. It's just like, well, everyone's racist, right? Oh, sure. Everything's a stereotype, right? Like, so it just sort of like, you know, it's like you're just like cooking in a little stew there going, sure. yeah, it's fine, oh, yeah, it's great. Okay. Oh no, the water's boiling, oh god. You know, <laughs> yeah, you just kind of get like, well, I mean, sure. Oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> I have to actually break this down and not let it wash over me. This is really upsetting. Is it? I mean, I don't know if anything was ever I don't super get, I don't get offended that easily. So it's just sort of like, it's more so just like, oh boy, you know? Well, like, right. Uh, yeah. yikesies. Yep. And yep. it felt sitcom-y yes. in its, like, just, well, throw that one at the wall and see if it works. Yes. Laugh track. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, if this movie had had a laugh track, I wouldn't have been surprised. It was like that, yeah, absolutely. Jai Ho Slumdog. Huh? Sausage and peppers too large. Hey, that was my nickname in the army. <laughs> I mean, I could see this being a sitcom. Oh yeah. This could have been a sitcom with Joey Lawrence. Oh! Melissa and Joey? Yes. Oh, yeah. I would be here for that. We're for it. Oh, we got the rival pizza places. Yes. And is, Melissa Joan Hart has her family's pizza place. And <laughs> the pizza place. <laughs> the accent. Oh, my God, the accent. Some people are Italian. Some people aren't. Oh, boy. I mean, it's so. there's so many characters. Both these families are, at first, are working in the same restaurant. And yep. we're introduced to what we can only presume is Hayden Christensen and Emma Roberts as children that are the same age. Yes, even though they are 10 years apart in real life. It's great. So you're already like, I'm sorry, wait. And also, the child in no way, shape, or form looks like he would grow up to be anything like Hayden Christensen. Well, sure, what are you gonna do? Um, That's someone else! <laughs> but he was so good at the accent! <laughs> you stupid, huh? 
<laughs> you don't know whose parent is who and whose grandparent is whose grandparent and what is happening. So So that each child is apparently an only child. Only child. But they have they each have their set of parents. Yeah. And then and a grandparent. A grandparent. But it's all introduced so quickly yep. that I was like, are who's... they brother and sister? Yeah. Is that is they're like, oh, it's my no no and my no na and the grandma and the grandpa and 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 Alyssa Milano's there. Yep. And uh, Andre Martin. Oh yes. Love her. Love her. Didn't love her in this. I mean, she was my favorite. Yes. But uh, that's not saying no. much. No. Jane Seymour. No. Slutty friend. Oh, slutty friend was the best. Don't know what her name is. <laughs> no. Slutty friend was <laughs> the best. best. <laughs> she was in the movie I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Afraid you might get wet. I oh, am. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh my god! Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> You're right. She was great. But uh, but then I like that it goes like here's the cast list. Okay, so slutty friend, yep. Audrey Martin, Martin, Jane Seymour, Seymour, everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hayden Christensen. Oh my god. He can't act. No, I never. I don't think he ever could. I don't think he. I ever. think we were. I all... hate sand. <laughs> That's too much. You gave too much emotion, Andrew. <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Ah, oh, it's just everywhere. He's, he's always a child. Yeah. He's perpetually a child, and yet now that he looks 48, <laughs> it's like even worse, you know? Yes, yes, it's like weirder. Also, the dye job. Oh, oh boy, the dye job. I think that was also what really aged him. Yeah. His face is not meant to have that hair. No, but you know, they really wanted us to believe he was Italian. So, you guys gonna introduce me to your friend here? You're from these parts. Okay, okay. Well, so it's so weird. So, so Andre Martin has the harshest accent. She's from the old country, yeah. right? And then Emma Roberts is her granddaughter. Absolutely no accent. Yep. Just Emma Roberts. Yep. Then Danny Aiello is Hayden Christensen's uh, grandfather. Yep. Kind of has a, a New Yorky, Italian-ish. It was. This was actually the Ish. best accent for me. It's probably just his real. It's accent. his real it's New so York good. Italian accent, so where it's like, just like a little bit. But okay, it was, yeah. it was okay, right? But Aiden Christensen is really going for the Italian, and it was like, oh boy, oh boy, it was bad. Oh. It was so but painful. They grew up to. They showed them growing up together. That's what cracked me up. Yeah, and he'd be like, oh, you want some pizza? And then Emma Roberts would just be like, oh yeah, sure, let's have a slice. Why don't you do something like this down at your pizzeria? My father, he, you know, he believes that pizza should be round with sauce and mozzarella. And so it starts, we're in Little Italy, and you're yeah. like, great, it's New York, it's Brooklyn, it's the 1970s, like, because of Hayden's age. He wasn't born yet, that's rude. <laughs> I just don't know <laughs> what happened. I don't know. It was like... Several times throughout the movie, everyone goes, but what happened? It was, he just looked so old, yeah. you know? I, yeah. I feel bad. I do too. You know, I used to like him. I feel like there was a moment, right? There was like a month where it was like, oh, Hayden Christensen, like, you know, Life is a House came out and he was all broody and like wore nail polish. Oh, Hayden Christensen. And then, you know, Star Wars happened. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> So you, you're sitting there going, great, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, 1980, whatever. Yeah. And then uh, half an hour in, we find out she's like, oh, I have to go back to Canada. <laughs> and I was like, what? what? Okay, this was actually really where I was like, oh, this is just a full-on Hallmark movie. Yeah. Where Jane Seymour, the Gordon Ramsay but a woman. No, but hotter. Oh, good. That was the line. Oh. It's, Gord it's Gordon Ramsay, but hotter. <laughs> well, yeah, the credits are rolling and it says, and a special appearance by Jane oh, Seymour. And I was yes. like, yeah. But also, it's a Hallmark movie. Approved for this. They got her on the day. Hallmark movie. They got her on a day and yep. then a FaceTime day. Because she was filming a Christmas movie on the same lot. So I really knew, I was like, okay, Jane Seymour, obviously, Hallmark movie yeah. goddess. She was in the Lacey Chabert one, right? Oh, like yes. The prince yeah, the princess. Of, of Christmas, it was like. Christmas princess? Yeah. The, uh, it was like uh, it was yeah, not a it, prince for Christmas or whatever the Netflix it one wasn't was. The Christmas prince. No, it was not that. But it did involve Christmas. A royal Christmas. A, a princess, maybe royal wedding. A royal Christmas. Christmas wedding. I think it's a royal Christmas. It involved Christmas. Wedding. Weddings. 
Prince's. Prince's, Jane Seymour. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It was good. It was, it was better than A Christmas Prince. Oh, 100%. So Jane Seymour is like this, you know, bitchy chef. Oil is a garnish. You've used so much, the US Army will invade the plate. <laughs> so she tastes everywhere. She's like, garbage, garbage, garbage. And then she tastes Emma Roberts? Yeah. Nailed it! <laughs> and some other guys. Gareth? Was that his name? Oh, wow. Oh. I feel like that was his character's name. Maybe. I couldn't tell you slutty friend's name, but I do think <laughs> that that guy's name was Gareth. Love it. And she's like, okay, you two, I'm going to open a restaurant and you guys have to compete well, to see who gets the restaurant. Well, first, she brings him into her office. She's in the full oh. whites with the hat, her yep, hair's up. Yep, yep. And all of a sudden, in an edit, hair down. Hair down. Fabulous. I'm Jane Seymour. Yes. And then <laughs> continues to talk. And then suddenly, in an edit that we don't see, she she's has a, a wine glass. glass. And she's like, so I have a proposition for you. And I was like, what's this? Love it. I love it. She's just like, and uh -huh. what? She was great. She was great, of course. But so then this exposition literally made no sense and was ripped out of every Hallmark movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Where it's just like, have your visa changed from student to work at once? Yes, yes. And that means you're going to have to go back to Canada. You'll have to go back to Canada, Canada. and get a visa. <laughs> because the Canadian tourism board told them to. And then out loud I went, what? <laughs> Canada, what? Would you really have to fly Couldn't there? Couldn't she just go to the like the Canadian internet. consulate hey. in London? Hey, what? No, she has to go. She has to go home and find out what home means again. Oh my God, it was so stupid. Now I kind of want to go to Little Italy in Toronto and be like, what is this all about? I don't know if there is a Little Italy in Toronto. There's a Starbucks. Oh boy. <laughs> the product placement was pretty extravagant. It was a lot. Another caramel latte for Madonna. Keeping them gum. Starbucks? Starbucks. Foam. Should foam, I have a Starbucks? Foam, uh -huh. I'll have a Starbucks too. Starbucks. Oh, here we are at the pizza competition. Here's my Starbucks. <laughs> so much. Well, it was interesting because of talking about the poster. Mm -hmm, yeah. On the top it says from the director of Miss Congeniality. Right! And How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Right! And he directed Mystic Pizza, 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 Grumpy Old Man, Richie Rich. The associate, and I was like, "What?" So I mean, you know, what happened? I, I mean, to just, be fair, also all of those movies were made a while ago. That's all I'm saying. So he's probably elderly. It felt dated, is yes. what I would say. Yes. Also, didn't love Mystic Pizza. Growing up in Conflict. I'm just saying. Didn't love How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. I'll be honest. No, I agree. It was too long. It was. <laughs> it was too long. I found it to be. Far too long. That one's in like the mediocre tier. Yeah. It's like watchable, but not But great. again, it's one of those movies where the whole thing's a trope. Yes. It's so formulaic and you're yeah. just like, oh, okay, so this is exactly what's... I mean, the fact that you could tell just from the poster everything that is going to happen, it was like, come on. I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> but it's not having fun with it. No. Uh, it's not playing with the tropes mm -mm. in any way. It mm -mm. just is them. Yep. The amount of stereotyping and just like weird ADR punch up. Yep. If you told me they shot this movie five years ago and then it got shelved for five years and then they thought, well, she kind of has a name ish right. now, let's right. release it, wouldn't be surprised. No. That's not what it feels like. Yeah. But no, so Jane Seymour is everything. Yes. Pretty much. I mean, except for a slutty friend. She's going down the line. This is like awful. Oh, too much salt, too much oil. And then she picks up this limp asparagus and oh, goes, goodness. like my last husband. <sighs> Like, every line she had was so good. Yeah. Yeah. She really sold it. She did, because she's fabulous. We've put her on Fabulous Cunt Island, right? I don't think we have, but... I feel like she deserves it, but she's in, like... For Dr. Quinn alone. Oh my God. She's there for medical purposes. <laughs> well, yeah, so then we have the quick change, oh, yes. and then she's selling them on the restaurant, you know, oh, you're my two best students, so one of you will be the head chef, and then one of you could be the toast of Mayfair. <laughs> and I was like... From Cabaret, you know, the Toast of Mayfair, mm -hmm. Fräulein Sally Ball! Will be the Toast of Mayfair. I think that's like a phrase. The Toast of, but she was actually talking about a restaurant in Mayfair. Was she? Yes, she said, I'm opening a new restaurant in Mayfair. Maybe that was just the joke, the long Maybe joke. Maybe that was the whole long joke. Like, that let's they write could... a joke around this arcane phrase that no one remembers. Or maybe it's really popular in England. Is it like a thing? The Toast of Mayfair? Is that like a phrase that everyone says? Let us know. 
So yeah, so Emma Roberts has moved away because the, yes. the two dads had a fight we don't know what about 20 years, whatever, number of years, 10 years ago? I, they, I can't roll they, my eyes. They had a fight. <sighs> and now they're dueling pizza places. Yes. And Emma Roberts was like, bye y'all, I'm going to culinary school. And Hayden Christensen stayed and is still working in the shop. Yep. And, and a bar. Living above a bar. Because they don't make enough money at the restaurant anymore right. because they split the restaurants and also because everyone's angry and also because the times are changing and the millennials and the hipsters, they, they like kale on their pizza. pizza. Kale and figs on their pizza. Figs <gasps> on a pizza? <laughs> Surely you jest. God, their reaction to the idea of figs on a pizza is like, where have you been for the past seven years? So, that seems conservative. A conservative. I'm gonna say like 15. Right? Yeah, so we get reintroduced to Hayden Christensen as an adult, elderly man, and um, I mean, it's just so rough. I feel bad, but it's so bad. And he is apparently just the sexiest ladies. This head. was so hard for me. This was where I just really kept wishing they had cast somebody else. Robbie Amell. Ooh. Always Robbie Amell. I, that's a good one, right? though. He may be Italian. It could have been someone much cuter, hotter, younger. Like, it just didn't... He didn't sit in the role. Because... No. So, we're introduced to him. You know we deliver. I bet he does. And then in a weird 80-yard line, these two girls walk by him and just go, I bet he delivers penis to the sex that we're gonna have like it was like so stupid like it was like it was so, so bad it was so bad and then you're sitting there going when did Aiden Christensen become Steve Buscemi what <laughs> is happening <laughs> like you're just like what's going on wow it was rough the hair really hindered it was just like really hindered bottle and black then, and then he was constantly doing the like forehead squish laugh line you know, so there's just like lines aged lines and the dyed hair he just looks tired the whole time yeah. and yet every woman he meets is like oh i gotta get on that dick yeah. like everyone's obsessed the with him the cop is and when that was the worst scene this, i mean that was very bad for so many different reasons all of the reasons basically a female police officer assaults hayden christensen yep and it's played for laughs because well it's a female police officer and a man so like that's fine it's like, no, it's not. It's uh, still upsetting. Yeah. And the movie's like, <laughs> Oh, isn't that funny? Don't oh, worry he's about just it. so hot. Oh, I'm just gonna feel your groin. What? Weird. Ugh, I did not like this movie. You didn't declare that you had two amazing man guns. Oh, you hiding anything else? Oh, what have you got here? She's feeling about it. It's like, oh, oh, these guns. Oh, you didn't tell me you had a gun show. Oh, an eight pack. Oh, and I'm like, you guys, we can see him. We later see him shirtless. This isn't a radio program. Right, like none of this is... Oh my god. <laughs> just like, close your eyes, just like, oh my god, I'm imagining just, David and right? Adonis. Right? I was so confused. Yeah. I'm gonna go south now, okay? Hey now. You packing heat here, mister? Listen, you're clean, buddy. You're clean. Or are you dirty? I don't know. So offensive. Like, it's like Italian explosion, right? Oh, yeah. It's just like Buca di Peppo <laughs> Italian explosion, right? <laughs> And then it's also heavily offensive to Indian people. Yeah. Just like so aggressively, lazily offensive to Indian people. Take me on your magic carpet ride. <laughs> First, let me show you my Indian rope trick. Oh, yeah, baby. Come here, Aladdin, and take me on your magic carpet ride. <laughs> and you're just like... <laughs> Fuck you, movie. It's so bad. And then later, they go to an Indian <laughs> restaurant called Korma Sutra. Oh my god. Like they were trying to be offensive. Offensive. Because they were just shitting on him the whole time. Oh yeah. And of but like course. Specifically because he's Indian. Yeah. Not just because like, oh he's a bad employee or something. No, no, no. Like, no. But it was just so basic. Yeah. Basic. Basic is the absolute, like, it's like, oh, let, let's, What's the two most obvious, like, stereotypical Indian jokes I can make? Like, he might as well have said, like, welcome to the Quickie Mart. You know what I mean? Like, it was that bad. It was that level of, like, yep. ooh, you didn't really do a second pass on this, did you? No. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> but then, oh my god, but then we get introduced to Slutty Friend. <gasps> yes. So Emma Roberts flies home. She doesn't have luggage. Her, right. mo her friend's like, oh my god, you're not staying. And she goes, yeah, and I told them I'm arriving tomorrow, tomorrow. so don't tell them. So I'm assuming she was going to stay at Slutty Friend's house. But Slutty Friend perks her up and they yep. go to Luigi's bar. Yep. 
and they're talking, I mean, this was when it started, they're talking about Londoners and like, oh, the accents, and she's like, well, it gets old really quick, and then her slutty friend just goes, yeah, I really, I hear they're really into oral. <laughs> just like, really, like, aggressively says it. Yeah. And I was like, ha, what? Yeah. I'm not sure what the joke was, except that her slutty friend is slutty. Yeah. Her horny friend is Her horny friend is horny. Is she's not a slutty friend, she's, she's a not, horny she's friend. She's a horny friend. Let's... Rephrase. Yeah, she's a horny friend. Yeah, from her here on friend. out, please go back, rewind, <laughs> pretend like we said horny friend. Well, and then this is when I really started to realize that everyone in the cast is either giving like twenty five percent or a hundred and fifty percent. Like everyone's either like, oh, I'm here in this movie. Yeah. Yep. Or they're like, I'm an insane stereotype that's like over the top and crazy. Oh, you mean like it's a me, Luigi, <laughs> the. Asian bartender. Ciao bella. Oh, yay, yay, Nicoletta. Oh my god. We will get into Luigi. I have a lot to say about Luigi. <laughs> oh, will we? A lot to say about Luigi. I mean, I'll say this more shocked by this movie than, you know, some other crap we've seen of late. <laughs> sure. There was, more, there was a bigger surprise in this movie than there was in A Simple Favor. Yes, that is true. I was more shocked. Yeah. Came out of left field! <laughs> we'll get to it, we'll get into it. So we find, it turns out Hayden Christensen of course works at Luigi's Bar and he's there and I guess they used to date? Like there's a big time jump where it's like, we're kids. Oh, I don't think they ever dated. Didn't they? Or they like always kind of... I think they always, there was always like a will they won't they like, oh she had a okay. crush on him but they never got together because they were always friends and whatever. Okay. And then she moved away and he never got to express his love to her and ask her to stay for him instead okay. of having her own life and pursuing her dreams. Well I mean this, the whole time I was like run, run away, run and live your life in London. <laughs> Be with Jane Seymour, she's fabulous. Run and away. My favorite part though was that other characters said that. Oh yeah, multiple <laughs> characters were like, this is the wrong choice. Run screaming, no. Absolutely not. Go chase that Michelin star girl. Yes! He works at the bar and he is just an aphrodisiac. Like, everyone is obsessed with him. And then they play this whole soccer game. Oh, God. It's like a, you know, a she's drinking the goalie. Game. If yeah. he's gonna, if, if he scores, she drinks, vice versa. It is downpouring. Yeah. It is torrential rain. Torrential rain. It's not, oh, it's kind of wet. She's in a cocktail dress slipping around on the grass. It looked miserable. Miserable. And they were out there for a while. A long time. The movie really thought that we cared about the soccer. <laughs> yeah. And they really didn't. This battle of the sex. Well, exactly. Like, that was I the... let you in. No, I let you. Girls can do whatever they want. Girls can beat boys at sport. And it was just like, it, we've had this conversation. Like, I'm okay. <laughs> is this all you have in common? I feel like this is not a sustainable relationship. Run away and go to London. It's so true because we never saw them interact with anything other than pizza and soccer. Yeah, pizza, and so it's soccer, like, are we just soccer. supposed to assume that their lives are just going to be? Well, I think actually, yeah, yeah. their lives are going to be consumed. She threw her life away for pizza and soccer. Yes. Well, yeah. So they get really drunk playing all this yes. soccer, and then she wakes up the next morning. I hate this trope. I, I hate, hate it so much. So much. She's uh, wakes up in bed naked. Oh my god! I was so drunk, and then. Luigi is ass is out and she's like oh my god and it's so upsetting for Luigi I mean right rude it, let's put this into like an actual real life context I've just woken up and there's a man there and I'm like oh my god this is the biggest mistake of my life we didn't do anything right but she's basically like I'm gonna vomit if it turns if out fucked. that I accidentally slept with you like it's so rude yeah. and so aggressive it but is. he's like I'm a joke so it's fine you know like he's just like it doesn't matter <laughs> I'm like, I'm an overweight minority, so it's fine. You can shit on me. Like, that's what the movie's telling you, basically. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I'm Sean Bella Nikki. Shh. No, 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 no. Good God, no. And then Hayden Christensen walks in, and she goes, Oh, my God, did I sleep with you? And I was like, how fucking drunk were you, girl? Right? Get your life together. Right? That was a mess. A mess. Who possibly sexually assaulted me last night while I was, uh, you know, blackout? Like, it's, like, not a funny thing anymore. No, it... I mean, it was never funny, but no. it's not like, <laughs> Who did she sleep with? Am I naked under here? I can't tell. Well, I should look. Right? Know? That trope of... Oh my god, I'm naked! It's so, I'm so over it! But the most interesting thing about this scene is, for some reason, Hayden Christensen has a framed conductor's baton. Oh yeah! Just like framed... I thought it was a Harry Potter, Harry Potter wand. 
A Harry Potter wand, you say? <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> a Harry Potter wand. I liked that idea. Though. Yeah, it was a conductor's <laughs> well, baton. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. I, I think that was just in the there, room. and they, they, they left it. They didn't realize. It was so... Weird. Weird. The set design was really lazy. Then it was like, hey, he has an old-timey camera, like, hanging oh, on the... Didn't notice there that. Was, he had, like, one of those, you know, racks, like, um, rolling racks of clothes, and there was just, like, an old-timey cannon, like, hanging but, on it. But why? That was never used. I, his room didn't tell me anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, the set design was really bad. He like, might as well have had, like, pizza wallpaper. That's all we know about him. <laughs> pizza wallpaper, but the pepperonis... They're soccer balls. Oh my god, I love it! I mean, that's stupid, but I love it. So then, uh, the plot sort of starts to revolve around the two dads, and they're sort of like tit for tat, like back and pranking. forth, like pranking each other. In a scene earlier, the right. dad is like, oh, I got something cooking for tomorrow. It's gonna be the high holidays. And I was like, wait, are they Jewish? Like, is well, that what's happening? Well, <laughs> And at some point, someone just says "fakakta," and I was like, "This fakakta," but like in an Italian, like, yeah, this this fakakta plan, and you're like, "What?" It's as if they knew like five things about every culture. You know what I mean? Yes. Like yes. high holidays, fakakta, you know, Jai Ho, Aladdin. I mean, you know, I mean, Aladdin isn't That's even true. like Indian. Like no. it's just like so upsetting. Yeah. It's so upsetting. He puts pot instead of because there's that whole joke like thing about like it's oregano, oregano or it's not pot. So he puts dry, just dry weed in, a, a, in an a oregano thing, as if then people just sort of sprinkled it on top or something. No, I think they sprinkled it on the pizza before they cooked it. Of course you would smell it then. I mean, it wouldn't, it, the thing is, it, people were acting like it made the pizza taste better, which it wouldn't. Were they? People were act she goes, our pizza's really extra good today. Like, oh. they were acting like, I mean, I guess you get the munchies, they were trying to do the munchies But like, thing. you wouldn't have... I... But you'd be like, this tastes like weed. And then everyone was acting like they were on ecstasy. It should have been everyone being like, chilled out, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everyone, they're like dancing on the tables and like stripping. And it was he's... so weird. They were acting like they, they were, were... on ecstasy at a rave. Yeah, or if they were being controlled by the main ad in True Blood. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, like... right? It was like, ooh, and now you're all crazy and you're going to go run into the woods. True Blood. Remember the go black and whatever. Oh, oh my god. At this point, I really thought the movie was gonna go in a certain direction. So Emma Roberts is walking up with her soccer ball to go ring Hayden Christensen's doorbell. And we see Lisa from Airplane Airline. <laughs> yes. Is she is she a flight she, attendant? And then they show her name tag and there's just a little airplane on it, it just says Lisa. Lisa. Well, you know what's funny is that it was like special thanks to Air Canada. It's so why wouldn't they do an Air Canada? There was so many Air Canada signs at, yeah. the, at the street fair. At the fair airport and, and the street fair and whatever. But nope, she's just Lisa from Airplane Airline. At this point, I'm like, oh, this is his girlfriend who he fucks when she's in town. And this is going to be a character that we're introduced nope. to that's like a cat, you know, like yep. they're going to fight over him nope. or whatever, something nope. stupid. Nope. And he's going to have to choose even though, you know, he already knows he really loves him. She never shows up again. <laughs> like, like all, gone. all we know, she's we presume that they fucked. For all we know, she's, just, she's a body <laughs> in his basement. We don't know. She's gone. We haven't talked about how... Danny Aiello and Andrea Martin oh. are in love. Yes. And dating secretly. Which we saw at the very beginning, even when they were kids, which was then confusing to me because I thought they were <laughs> grandparents. I thought they were the grandparents and that made them brother and sister. I was so confused so was like, by relationships and whatever. They've just been flirting for 10 years. I don't know. So they're kind of flirty flirty together and they keep secretly meeting at the church and yep. here. And then they get to meet at the internet cafe where all the hats are. So the scene is you're at a hip internet cafe and you're wearing hats because hipsters wear hats that work on laptops. And then it's not like I was like, what are all these hats? Why is everyone wearing a hat? Everyone has a hat. And then there was like an ADR line that was just like, like love your hat. hat. And I was like, what's happening? Love your hat, by the way. We haven't talked about the lamps. <laughs> Can we talk about the lamps for the rest of the review? <laughs> I could. I honestly could. Okay. Honestly. So Aiden Christensen has Emma Thompson, Emma... Oh, if only. If only. <laughs> also not Italian. Um, has Emma Roberts over for dinner. He goes, I'll cook you dinner. Do you want to come over? And, and you're like, like, cool, yeah. Okay, oh, we made pizza. 
He made little pizza, pizza for appetizers. And she's like, mm, this is so good. And he's like, that's just the appetizer. For dinner, we have pizza. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And then he has a pizza oven in his apartment. In not his apartment. In Luigi's apartment. Oh, that made me laugh. Oh my God. So then he takes her up to the rooftop, oh to his God. rooftop garden. That's yeah. just basils and tomatoes. Yeah. Because he goes, well, this is all organic. I said, it's absolutely not. Well, it is. If you're on the street, it's not certified organic. There you go. It's hard cool. to be certified organic. Fair. I'm just putting it out there. Fair. But it's like on open on the street. You're like, no, there was like gas fumes. Like, yeah. no. Monsanto's Fair. truck drove by. It ruined everything. <laughs> it happened. It happened. But anyway, they're up there. And all of a sudden, I start to notice, like, wait a minute. There's like like an indoor lamp with a cloth lampshade. Yeah. And then there's another one. And, another and one. now there's a floor lamp with the cloth lampshade. And then there's a... There was... 30? I mean, like at least 15 to 45. I mean, there were so many, every shot would reveal Multiple new lamps. lamps that were indoor lamps. And then it's repeatedly shown that it rains often here, downpours in fact, and yeah. all of these would be a horrible fire hazard. Lamps, lamps, how many extension cords does he have oh up here God, on this right? patio? Lamps, right. lamps on that side, lamps behind them, that lamp, that, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I took pictures because I <laughs> didn't think you guys would believe me. How many lamps there were? There were so many lamps. So many lamps. It's insane. And there's like randomly some music coming from somewhere. Right. And she starts dancing. <laughs> like this. Right, they're up on the, with all the lamp. lamp. It's like every time she moves her hips, oh, there's a new lamp. <laughs> there's a new lamp. There's a new lamp. Dancing. Well, and in this dress, uh, there's one fallen sleeve. Yeah. And then one sleeve that seems like it should be fallen. Yeah, but, but it was not. It is not. Strange. And then an uneven just... hem with ruffles. It was... Lamps, lamps, lamps. It was like they were stretching. Yeah. You know, it was like, ooh, Gotta but it was a dance. Gotta get ready for this. Gotta get ready for this. Sexy uh, dance on sexy the... Sexy dance we're doing. It was so weird. So they're having like a family picnic. Emma Roberts oh, is back. Oh, my yeah. parents and oh, everybody's parents here. Horny there. friend's there and she's great. Yeah. You're still in love with him. All those years of pent up sexual frustration. No wonder you're so skinny. You must deal yourself like a fiend. She steals the show. Steals the show. Yeah. Um, and this is the most just like, oof, like, oh, oh, like, oh no, no. Somebody, somebody had to stop this. Why did nobody stop this? Oof, here, take the gum, leave the cannolis. Oh. I don't even remember his name. I don't care. Oh, no idea. Guido from the corner comes over. I mean, he might, that might be his name in the credits. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. And it's like, yo, it's a me. You know, <laughs> hey, how about we a fuck? It was like so vulgarly, no, he, like, he, like aggressively. He sniffs her shoes. Oh, right. Because he has to be a perv. Yeah, he know. Oh, yeah. your big toes are so big. Oh, it's so gorgeous, that yeah. toe. Uh, you're like, well, what no, is happening? He walks in, grabs his junk. Oh, yeah. Like, aggressively grabs well, his just junk. Like, just didn't care for it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, ma'am. Well, and then they have a... Sex scene. She goes, do you want to play a game? Maybe one that you can score in? You can actually yeah, like this time you can actually, actually score. score. And it was just like, Ugh. Yeah. Because they didn't have any chemistry. None at all. Because it seemed like he might be her dad. There was no reason for her to like him. Nope. But they made the sex scene like really sexy because they put like Italian accordion music over it. I was like, oh boy. They might as well have been like, luck be a lady, lady tonight, tonight. Or whatever. Oh then he was like singing it to When her. the moon hits your eye like, like a, a big, big pizza, pizza pie. pie. That's the, the morning. morning. Oh. Oh, Hayden! <laughs> like that was basically what was happening. It's crazy. I wish that was what was happening. <laughs> I mean, I kind of, it would at least be cheesier. And then there's like a, a frog prince singing over it. <laughs> Napoli, that's amore. We also didn't talk about Alyssa Milano's bedazzled tiger jean jacket. Oh my god, at Korma Sutra. At Korma Sutra. That was Just thought so I should much. bring it up. Yep, yep. So they're at Korma Sutra, Andre Martin and... Jane uh, Yeah. Are like, we're getting married, and then the dads are like, nah, and they have a fight and whatever, and then Hayden Christensen... <gasps> oh my god! I mean, I, this is when I was like, fuck you, I'm leaving. Yep. Because yep. they're gonna be in the pizza contest. Right. Well, us dads are banned from the famous Little Italy Toronto pizza contest, so you two will fight. Fight, and whoever without. wins that, then the other family has to pack up and get out of Little Italy. Like, what?! 
too much. The stakes were too, too high. high. So she's like, oh, well, you know, something about let me win, let me win, let me, you, you always no, let me win. Well, I, I always let yeah, you well, win. Yeah, well, she always beats you in soccer. No, he beat her yeah. in soccer. Well, well. You won when I let you. <laughs> yeah, like you let me win last night. <gasps> she slaps him and I was, I was like, like, yes. Yes. In front of the, all of their <sighs> family. Could you ever imagine no. speaking to someone in front of their grandmother like that? I just can't even. It was so rude. That was when she should have been like, Jane, I'm coming. Yes. I've got the menu yeah. and I will always yeah. have a very stiff asparagus for you. Exactly. <laughs> Would have been so good. Is that the... The Hallmark Robert. movie, Stiff Asparagus? <laughs> I but love it! The Stiff Asparagus is her clitoris. Of course. Yeah. But of course. But of course. So then he's all angry and moody and he starts bitching at Luigi. Right. And he's like, you know what, Luigi, what are you even doing? Luigi, your real name is Li Zhao Ping. You're Chinese, bro. And then there's like a dramatic pause. pause. And Luigi has a moment and he just goes. You know, when I told my dad I was gay, he uh, threw me out of the house. What? And you're like, what is happening right now? Like, what is going, what the literal fuck is happening right now? Oh, so good. Now we get to offend homosexuals as well. <laughs> Great. Check that one off the list. Oh my God. And he gives this dramatic monologue about how he got kicked out of the house so then he wandered walked, the streets wandered the streets he makes it to little italy wanders into luigi's bar and everyone was so friendly At and nice 19 when did he come out i guess maybe he never did drinking laws are different he never did well right but you know what i mean when his dad disowned him i don't know so i wandered into this bar and all the italians were so nice to me and so accepting yeah. that i just stayed and then when he passed I became Luigi and everyone loved me as Luigi. And I'm just like, okay, first off, what? Secondly, huh? Third, did everyone not know? How long has he been Luigi? I don't know. I don't know. But it was so weird that he was like, and I felt so accepted as me. And yet Hayden Christensen was like, what? You're gay? Yeah. Like nobody knew. Yeah. Will you still love me? Yeah. I wouldn't love you because you're... You just like to sleep with men? You like dude? Are you still be my friend? You think I wouldn't be your friend just because... What, you like guys? No. Because I'm not Italian. <laughs> I mean, they're roommates. And then he goes, no, because I'm Italian. Yeah, they're roommates! Wouldn't he know? No? Wouldn't it be like, oh, and then you had a bunch of dudes? Like, what? Is your hand on my ass? That's how Chinese people hug. So he's in love with Hayden Christensen too. Everyone's in love with Hayden because Christensen because he delivers. Like I don't know. I don't even know. I don't he's just even know. And everybody is obsessed with him. And it's like I, I would get it if it was like Chris Hemsworth, but you guys. Well, regardless of that, this just made no sense. Oh, like, well, then him this being gay, like it was just like well, and then, so out of line. And then field. to have the gay guy be like, oh, now that I've come out to you, I'm gonna molest you. Yeah. Fuck you. So they compete in this thing. The only fun part about this competition was that the, the entire time there were naked men with bulges well, in so the background. There's like these two hosts that wear crazy suits and yep. they're like, oh, on top of the fact that we're having like, whatever, Little Italy's pizza contest, we're also having Little Italy's Miss Bikini and Mr. Bikini contests for no reason whatsoever, except eye candy. Yep. So every single shot of them cooking pizzas just has like bulges. gratuitous bulges and tits. Yep. Well, the whole time it has been alluded to that like under Martin's sauce is the best yep. and Danny Aiello's yep. crust is the best. Yep. And if, you know, that was what made their pizza magic, but they haven't, you know, put it together in years because they're having this stupid fight and it really doesn't matter. And so they're both making their pizza, their pizza margaritas yeah. and there's like a weird shot of her like... I'd be like, oh, look at these two sauces oh, next sauce. to each other. So she switches the sauces mm -hmm. so he can win. I mean, I think okay, okay. this is her escape plan. I think she's like, yep. look, yep. I know I'm going to like bankrupt my parents and put them on the street, but I can get away from this lecherous man and go live my fabulous yes. stiff asparagus life with Jane Seymour. <laughs> no more flaccid asparagus for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, I think this was her ripcord. She was like, get me the fuck out of here. But yeah, so she switches the sauces so mm -hmm. he can win. Mm -hmm. And then and he... she 
immediately gets in a cab and has yeah. a reservation for a flight that because she got her yeah. visa in yeah. all of the times that, that we, we never saw, saw the scenes where she went and got her visa. <laughs> it was so important for her to be in Canada to get the visa to and the, she never goes a, and does it. There isn't one mention of it. Nope. Not a single shot or anything. Paperwork. Nope. Nothing. Nada. So she goes off to the airport and then, you know, like in Notting Hill, like everyone's like, yeah. oh, well, I have to go to the airport. We all have to go to the airport. We have to run after her. So they all do a big Oh, oh, oh because the, the, the Louis, Mario and Luigi are like, oh, this is the best pizza since you guys were making pizza together. Yeah, right. And so then Hayden Christian's like, this isn't my sauce. This isn't my sauce. I have to rectify this. Yeah. Where's Nikki? Well, of course she already went, went to, the to the airport. airport. She's just... literally already at the airport. Her bag in is In the packed. past two minutes. I don't understand. So she had a plan for she the did. Why she... didn't she just throw the first round? I don't know. But anyway, she goes to the airport because this wouldn't be a rom-com from 1994 unless okay. there was like a... a airport racing airport scene. Airport racing to the airport scene. First, he's running through the airport oh, searching yeah. for her, searching for her. And oh. he runs up to this woman and we only see the back of her head and I go, well, that's an Asian woman. That's not what, what's going on. And he turns her around and it's an Asian woman. And you're like, what is this? <laughs> He doesn't even care. Mickey. It could be anyone. He could fall in love with anyone. He doesn't give a shit. He didn't even have the same outfit. Like, it was nonsense. Oh my god. So anyway, he makes some speech about whatever, and security just stops. Yeah. They have a five to ten minute conversation, and there's people just waiting to go. Through. It's just not addressed. Everyone shows up. Everyone's there. The whole yep. family. Oh, you have to stay, Nikki. Oh, you have Nikki. to stay. And um, and then she does. Yeah, well, I, I kind of was actually hoping that it was so. Oh, right. So she walks through. She's he's like, like, "What are you saying, Nikki? Shall we make pizza together?" I know he says something. He's like, basically, should we make the pizza together? Love is the recipe of life. Whatever oh, he says, something God. nonsense. Yeah. Like, yep. And she just walks through the goddamn metal through. detector, and right. I was like, "Yes, bitch!" I was like, "Look at this progressive right? rom com out of nowhere." Oh no, she was just getting her shoes or something. I had to get my bag. So then they open their own pizza place. Pizza Organica. Yeah, Pizza Organica is what he wanted to call it. And they have all their fancy pizza. And Jane Seymour is there because. And then she's like, how did it go with Geraldo or whatever? <laughs> Geraldo! <laughs> Geraldo! I don't care at this I point. I wish it was Geraldo. <laughs> Gareth, I Gareth. think. Whatever. Oh, well, he had... Uh, oh, his menu gave the critic diarrhea, is basically Yeah, basically. And so then the whole restaurant shut down. I'm like, what? And whatever. And so then she's like, but this actually is brilliant. Well, Fast trying... casual. It's so hipster and fabulous. <laughs> Millennials will love it. Do you want to go international? Oh, oh, my God. oh, oh my God. man, it was... Silly. When the, the moon, moon hits your eye like, like a big pizza pie, pie that's some more. I mean, I'm surprised oh like there wasn't a moon that right? turned into <gasps> a pizza that then like Hayden Christensen took a slice out. I mean, it was that bad. I think get some pizza, get some wine, yep. get drunk and shout at it. Yeah, yeah. You know? I, I think so. I think you guys can play a drinking game. Oh, I think there's a drinking game. Ooh. Anytime Andrea Martin's accent slips, Drink. Right. Anytime a new race is, is oh. or a new culture, a new... Someone is offended or stereotyped new, yeah, offensively, yeah. drink. Drink. Anytime they mention soccer, <laughs> drink. No, anytime that they say the phrase, I let you win. Oh boy. Drink. Take a little baby sip because I don't want anyone to die. Anytime someone just like aggressively hits on Hayden Christensen. Yes. Anytime a horny friend says something sexual. Oh my god. I mean, that's just all her lines. Well, but like, so. I mean, love she it. Needs this, she deserves to be celebrated, you April. You just say anytime horny friend says a line. <laughs> Drink anytime she's on screen because it's the best time. Oh, yes. I think that's enough to get you very sufficiently drunk. So there you have it. The Little Italy drinking game. I mean, I'll say this. In many ways, it was... 100% what I expected. Yes. So, you know, take that for what you will. Sure. Mmm, pizza. Yes to pizza, no to this movie. Mm-hmm. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Eh?